Hey guys, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a video review of HeartSnet for iPhone and iPod Touch along with the iPad. Now the coolest part about HeartSnet is unlike several other applications in the App Store, it's not, there's no HD version, there's no, it's just one version and you get it for all devices. It's optimized for iPad, I mean it's super high quality, but you only pay three bucks one time. So that's what's really cool. Um, I'm gonna shut off the lamp here and we'll get into the application itself. The cool thing about HeartsNet is, uh, you know, Hearts games in the past on a computer are notoriously bad. Oops. And that's because, uh, you know, there's not really been an AI or an artificial in intelligence developed that was good enough to feel like an actual player. You could always kind of tell it was a computer, and that's why Hearts Online have not really taken off, and that's why there's not many in the App Store. There are Hearts apps, but most of them are horrid. I've tried most of them, but, you know, HeartsNet does a pretty excellent job with the uh, artificial intelligence. So we're just going to start a new single-player game, and if you know how Hearts is played, that's awesome. If you don't, I'm not going to really tell you how it's played here in this review, but... Uh, Basically, yeah, I don't really want to go into it. It's an excellent game. It's my favorite card game by far. But uh, as you can see on the iPad, there's a lot of real estate to choose what you want. On the iPad version or on the iPhone version, it is possible, but it's a bit more difficult to kind of see what's going on. Now, <clears throat> obviously, you have the abilities to select your card, and this is doable, but it's not really my preferred method. Um, I've played this on the iPhone when I was waiting, and but you know the iPad version is really what stands out because you have this whole screen to use to your advantage. So let's pass that one, that one, and it's an odd strategy, but if you know what you're doing, it's a good one. Okay, so uh, essentially what the point of the game is, I'm going to get into this because, you know, why the heck not. It is to score the lowest amount of points possible. Now, um, hearts, obviously, are worth one point each. Now, the queen of spades, which I passed, is the doozy. She's worth 13. Now, you don't want points unless you can get every single one of them. If you can get all 26 points, all the hearts and the queen of spades... That means you shoot the moon. And when you shoot the moon, which it's very difficult to do, this hand is not suited. Well, it's actually not a bad hand, but I probably, now that I say that, I probably, there's a chance. But these cards, if I had passed lower cards, I, maybe I could have shot. But um, if you shoot the moon, you don't get 26 points. You get zero points, and every other player gets 26 points. So what we're going to do is uh, it's the first trick. It's usually pretty nice and easy here, so we're going to put down the uh, Queen of Hearts, excuse me, Queen of Clubs, uh, but he took it with the Ace. So um, I'm down here. Let me move this bad boy up so you can see what's going on a little more. Oops, sorry. Okay. So we'll just I'll just play around because I like it. Um, spade. Second trick, we're still pretty safe. Uh, smoke her. Smoke the queen out. Make her fall on her own sword. Smoke her again. Smoke him if you got him. No? Alright. Three spades, we're going to slough that. Alrighty, let's see. Well, I'm going to take that most likely, so I might as well take it big. Yeah. Good. Okay. Play a low diamond. This is where I might get in trouble. Uh oh. Okay. Play that one. Now it's the heart. This is where it gets ugly, right up in here. Um, <laughs> I might take a lot of points, guys. This is a bad example to show you how good I am. All right. See, <clears throat> now that was an unusual play. Um, typically, one doesn't start off with the Ace of Hearts. Now, actually, they didn't. I led. But they played an Ace of Hearts, and that always makes me wonder, hmm, they're probably stupid and just don't know what they're doing. But in fact, it's not the player. Um, I mean, it's not the player. It, they actually don't have any more hearts left in their hand. So they are pretty intelligent when it comes to AI. Um, who's going to take the trick? Dana, he's probably going to lead. Nope. So I got out of there with seven. Not good, but not bad. Ooh, and Kent took the queen. So Kent got 14. 
Dana got two, Norm got three, and Quinn got seven. That was me. Um, so there is a really nice kind of plain scoreboard system they got going here. Um, as for the individual features, there's a help guide, which is really kind of nice because it tells you exactly how to play the game. It's super basic HTML, so it's very simple to load and it's pretty fast. But you can read exactly how to do it. Now, this isn't localized. You do need an internet browser, but, you know, whatevs. I mean, you do need to be connected to uh, Wi-Fi on the iPad or the 3G model, which is coming out soon. Um, you have statistics here. Games played, three. Games won, only one. That's pretty poor. Uh, the game speed, you can change the speed of the game. You can change the theme, the board, um, if you want Lux. I think that's hideous. Pastel's nice, actually. It's boring, but anyway, I just stick with the green classic, but I think you can, Lux is, yeah, it's not bad. That's what the iPhone default is, but I'm going to stick to classic. Okay. Um, you can choose to wait after a trick is played, which is a nice feature because you can kind of see, all right, now what happened? If it doesn't, they just take it and you want to go, wait, hold on. Um, autoplay, that just means it plays for you, which is kind of rhetoric, but um, as you can see, Come on, start the next hand. Um, it just plays for you. So that's kind of, I don't know why you would want to do that. Maybe if you were learning to see how the game works, but uh, let's see how good the computer is at uh, playing this game. Maybe if you have to do something, but you want to, I don't understand why you would want the autoplay. It is kind of cool, but yeah, I don't really see the point to that so far. Dana's got 14, he's got all the hearts. Oh, is he shooting? Oh, no. He's going to shoot the moon. Watch this. He's got it. It's his. Look at that. No one's even... He just shot the moon. Oh, no. I took... Somewhere I took four. I don't know where. Okay, I'm not paying attention. Sorry. All right, so we're going to turn autoplay off. Um... You can change the player names, so I've changed it to the four people that are really good at hearts. <laughs> my dad, excuse me, my dad, Dana, my Uncle Kent, my Grandpa Norm. Anyway, um, <clears throat> you can change the skill levels of each individual robot, is what they're called, but the artificial intelligence, I keep them all on best, and they're pretty dang good. I, if you change it to incompetent, it's it's pretty bad, but, uh, you know, that's a, that's a possibility. One thing that is kind of unusual but cool is... It'll show you the memory usage on your device. I don't really know why you would want that, but it is pretty cool. Now, what's cool about this application is it is multiplayer capable. If you have an iPhone and you have an iPod and you have an iPad, it doesn't matter. Any game, any device, um, you can join. But uh, what I don't necessarily like is it's not over Bluetooth. It's via Wi-Fi, which, you know, isn't horrible, but it's definitely not my first choice. Um... So we can start a multiplayer game, and then uh, it already knows me. That's my name. Uh, so there it is. They put my name out. I gotta set a name for myself. I just downloaded this again. I had to restore to. I had to restore OS 2.0 or 4.0 last night. Let's say my name is Quinn One or Quinn Dash. All right. So I'm gonna join Quinn's game, and there I am. I'm in the game. That'll be kind of confusing, maybe. But we're going to start game with these players. So it does fill the other four slots because four people is ideal for the game of hearts. When you go to Vegas, you play hearts, there's four people. But the coolest thing is it is actually you. You guys are playing over Wi-Fi. So uh, I'll just do three random cards so I can shorten this review up. But we're going to pass both of those. Accept them. Um, and... Is it my turn? So it's waiting for this player to play. And as you can see, I'm going to show you. Just watch this top corner. I'm going to play a card. Look how quickly the latency is on this game. Bam. Bam. It's almost instantaneous. It's really, really fast. So, uh, you know, grab a club here. Play that. It's really fast. So I've actually played with my brother while we're supposed to be sleeping. Um all the way across the house. There's no way Bluetooth would work because our rooms are too far apart, but via Wi-Fi we're on the same network and it works. So I wish Bluetooth was a capability because if you're not by a Wi-Fi hotspot, it doesn't work. If you're on an airplane, not gonna happen. If you're on somewhere else, so that's kind of a bummer. But the fact that you can play it over Wi-Fi is pretty cool. I wish the developer would add both features, but 
you know, Wi-Fi is good enough for me. And uh, that's what I like. The iPhone version is the exact same as the iPad version, just the graphics are scaled up. Uh, they look excellent on the iPad. I'm very, very happy with the graphics and detail of this uh, little game here. So it's $2.99. Um, it's a fairly small application, 30-something megabytes, I think. Maybe not even that many. Like 20-something. I don't know. But it's a good really decent little hearts game. If you're into hearts, if you play hearts, you got to pick this one up because I've tried all of them for the iPad and most of them for the iPhone and this one is the best. So, um, there you go. Hearts net H E R T S N E T $3 in the app store. My final thesis, final review is an eight out of 10 because it's awesome multiplayer. I just wish they would do it over Bluetooth and the artificial intelligence is excellent. Is it perfect? No, but it is the best that there is in the app store. So this is the highest scoring hearts game by far and uh, I highly suggest you check it out. Thank you so much for watching. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later.